Okay, uh, section 3.5, number 11. We're doing a muddy problem. Now, they told us in the question compound continuously, so that means we're going to use this equation. So this one is difficult because they're not sort of giving it to us in a standard way. It's sort of, um, yeah, this isn't done like how we would first find find um, the initial condition and then R and then, so it's not done this way. So let's look at what they did give us. They gave us the annual interest rate. So they gave us R and they gave us after 10 years, it's $10,000. So they gave us T and they gave us an A value. So if you notice, they gave us all together, they gave us A, R, and T, so that allows us to solve for P. P would be an unknown. So let's start there, okay? Let's start with that. So A is 10,000, P we don't know, R is 0, um, point zero four five. T is 10. Let me just move this over one decimal place. So 0 0.45. Okay, 10 times this would be 0 0.45. All right, now I'm solving for P, so I want to divide this off. So let's see here, we're going to do 10,000 divided by, i got to find my E key, which is up here. So I have to hit Shift E, and then it's E to the 0.45, close, hit equal. Okay, so let's see here, we got about, P is about... 6376.28. It's around there. All right, so that then lets us find the initial investment. So that's what we just found there. That's your 6376.28. Right, that's going to go in the box here. And time to double. Okay. So time to double means that you're going to start with, there's two ways to do this. You could just do it algebraically. You could say, well, um, if I start with an amount P, how long would it take to have 2P? Okay, that's one way to do it. If I start with P, how long does it take to get 2P? The other way to do it is to multiply the P value times 2. Okay, um, so the other way to do it is to multiply the p-value times 2. Zero point four. Uh, I squeezed too much in here. Zero point zero four five t. All right. The other way to do it is to take your initial value, double it, and then this will work out the same, right? Because the first thing you have to do is divide this off. Right, and you'll notice it, uh, in the general algebraic way, if you divide off P, you're going to get the same thing. Oh, I didn't put in the value of um, 0 0.045 here for R. So 
it doesn't matter whether you do it um, exactly or you just do it algebraically with um, you'll come up with the same answer okay so so time to double so let's keep working on this now I have to use my logs here so they're both the same at this point you do them both the same at this point so I'll take the ln of both sides All right that allows me to bring the exponent down in front Right, and we know that ln of e goes to 1. So I'm almost done now. I just got to divide off the 0 0.045. Okay, so let's see what we get for that. We're going to do ln of 2. Now this is where our student may make a mistake. You have to close this. If you don't close this, you're going to get the wrong answer because... If you don't close it, it's going to shove everything into the ln. That, like, if I if I do this, which is wrong, this is wrong. What I'm doing here, it's shoving all of this into the ln, which is wrong. It, it, you don't want to do that. You just want the two in the ln, and you close the ln here. Now the ln's finished, and then I say divided by 0 0.045. Okay, so it's about 15.4 years for it to double. Alright, I hope that helped. Catch you.